I have a sad story to tell you It may hurt your feelings a bit Last night when I walked into my bathroom I stepped in a big pile of shaving cream Be nice and clean Shave every day and you'll always look keen Well, this is Artifacts of Mars, and this story has been festering. It's at Oberlin College. We have uh, a bunch of students from overseas complaining that their ethnic food is offensive because it's might not like it was in the old country. I got news for you. Uh, did you actually believe you get the exact same thing you got in your old country? Uh, that's not the way it works here, folks. You, you kids want to get authentic food, you're going to have to go to a restaurant, and even then you won't uh, get exactly authentic food uh, from all over. Students interviewed for the article hailing from Vietnam, China, and Malaysia, among others, said they were disgusted with the bone, bone appetit. The food service management company under contract with Oberlin and its attempt to appease students' palates, as well as increasing the variety of food in its rotation. The worst offense was a sushi bar at the Dascom Dining Hall, which, according to Tomoyo Joshi, a Japanese junior at Oberlin, was appropriative due to the lack of fresh fish and grossly undercooked rice. Uh, welcome to America. When you're looking at a country's dish for other people, including ones who have never tried the original dish before, you're also representing the meaning of the dish as well as its culture, she told the review. So if people are not from the heritage take food, modify and serve it as authentic, it is appropriative. Too bad. Since the article was published, Michelle Green, Director of Business Operations and Operations and Dining Services at Oberlin, acknowledged students' concerns in the total paper. Maybe we should do what we should do is describe the dish as for what it is as opposed to characterizing it with a specific name. Yeah, it might help, actually. Uh, I'm going to address you uh, foreign students and such. You're coming to America. Uh, things don't work the same way here that they do in your old country. This is our country. When you go out Let's say you go and buy a can of <coughs> Chef Boyardee spaghetti. Is that authentic Italian spaghetti? No, it's not. I eat it all the time. I love it. But it's not anything like it is from the old country. Same thing goes for Hormel chili. I eat that too. Is that an authentic Mexican food? No, it is not. Too bad. Other thing is, those of you who are from uh, cultures where they eat dog and cat, you're gonna ha you're gonna be seriously disappointed because Americans won't tolerate those being served in dining halls. Uh, <laughs> Uh, trust me, we won't tolerate. We keep those for pets, and we're just not. That just wouldn't work. But you can get authentic Chinese restaurants where they serve chicken and pork and such. Things of that nature, you can get that. So they're more or less authentic, but you're not going to get it in a college dining hall. This is the whole point. <laughs> You're not going to get authentic uh, 
whatever food in a college dining hall. You may as well forget it. This is America, people. You don't like it? Too bad. Go back where you came from. Sure, you can get some authentic food. Like I said, you can go to Olive Garden if you like Italian. I don't know how authentic they are. You're not going to get it. In a mass cafeteria like that. It's just not going to happen. Welcome to America, people. That's how it works here. I don't care whether you're offended or not. You can stick your head in a barrel of shaving cream if it offends you. Too bad. Go to a real restaurant. God, this is as bad as, you know, some demanding the student not eat uh, pork because that offends them. Too bad. Good grief. What's this country coming to? I'm Artifacts of Mars. Thanks for watching.